Time. Time is the most critical piece of the equation when identifying if someone is having a stroke, but it is also important when we talk about the recovery from that stroke. Time after stroke is broadly categorized into two phases. We have the first three months after stroke, what we call the subacute phase, and we have six or more months after stroke, what we call the chronic phase. And we know that in the subacute phase, the brain is more adaptable and ready to learn. It has what we call increased plasticity. And we also know that patients have the greatest improvements in motor abilities during this time. On the contrary, in the chronic phase, that plasticity has returned to normal levels, and we see that patients actually reach a plateau in their motor improvements. And this is important, because stroke is the leading cause of disability, and the most common, the most common deficit is motor impairment of the arm and hand, which reduces quality of life. Patients must therefore relearn old and learn new motor skills needed for their everyday living. And while we know there's a difference in motor ability, it is currently not known if patients learn differently between these two phases. And so that is where I come in. My thesis researched how patients in the subacute and chronic phase learn to play a motor task using their affected hand to move a joystick. It's kind of like that arcade game Pac-Man where the player uses the joystick to point, to point the Pac-Man to eat the little yellow dots. Well, in my version, a patient uses a joystick to move a cursor into a target box. I'll admit, it's less exciting but it allows me to measure patients' baseline ability to play the task and track how they improve over time. And so far, my results suggest that patients in the subacute phase learn to a greater extent than patients in the chronic phase. And this now gives us a tangible difference that can be addressed. Did you know that we have tools that can non-invasively stimulate the brain and help facilitate learning? Would you believe me if I told you that scientists are working to also increase plasticity in the chronic phase to mimic that scene in the subacute phase? In other words, we have tools that can help patients learn better in the long term rather than just the short term of the subacute phase. And by having a better understanding of learning across the continuum of recovery, we can better improve our rehabilitation practices and our therapeutic interventions. And that's why we do this work, to ensure that patients have an increased quality of life with the time they're left with after surviving their stroke. Thank you.